Hello students, welcome to the Reading Skill Classroom. Today we have with us uh, Madam Sukhwant. She is lecturer in English. Where are you ma'am posted? I am working at uh, Gorman Senior Secondary Smart School, Lalu Mandi in the district of SS Nagar and I am teaching English to plus one, plus two classes. Uh, thank you ma'am and uh, I am Anurag Sidhu, uh, lecturer in English, Government Senior Secondary School, Ramgad Pudda. Today we have brought you a new session. The session is, the, in this session we'll read uh, this book. This is a dictionary. Oh, that's so And pretty. we'll learn how to read the dictionary with so many words and how to find a word in the dictionary. So this is, uh, as I can see, I think it's uh, Webster's New World Dictionary. So this is a... Yeah. Uh, very old one, the second college this edition. Is, this is an old edition, but yeah. we have many words in it. There are uh, a million words mm. in the dictionary, in the English language, but there are some words which are redundant now, which we do not use, but there are others which when we study, when we read the books, they we have to read them. We don't know the spellings. But we have to, uh, we know the spellings after reading, but we have to know the meaning of the word or what part of speech it is mm -hmm. or how the, ori how the word originated. Is it a Latin word or a Greek word? So let's uh, find, find out what all we have in the dictionary and what it is. So we start with the session and here is the first uh, dictionary you can see in the photo, this Oxford's Dictionary, then Oxford's Picture Dictionary, then Collins Dictionary, this is a thesaurus and a dictionary. What is a thesaurus? It is also a kind of a dictionary, we will read about it later, first we will see what the dictionary is. Dictionaries are books that list all the words in a language. With a dictionary you can learn how to spell a word, what a word means, how to say a word, what part of speech a word is, how many syllables are there in a word, whether or not to capitalize a word, how to abbreviate a word. You know what is an abbreviation, students? Like here we have given the example USA. So this is United States of America. So then you also know till now, you know what a prefix is and suffix is in the word are. Like there is a root word, you add something before the word, it is a prefix, you add some word at the end of the word, it is a suffix. Mm -hmm. So uh, you get to know all these things from a dictionary. So we have so many, um, uh, so many things which are attached to this one particular word and you get to know the spelling, the word meaning, and uh, how to speak that word. And uh, ma'am, like we get it in the word of the day. Yeah, the same. Hanji. Every day, but uh, this, is, uh, being, uh, this has been introduced for the last, say, one, two years, and children, they are very, atta I mean, uh, they're very, very familiar with this. Yes, uh, ma'am, they... And I think it's a part of morning assembly also, when we used yes. to have the assemblies in the school. Mm -hmm. The children, they used to uh, share this word of the day, and even in our class groups, you know, uh, it has been shared with all the students and they are very well aware of this. And students, do you write the word of the day in your notebook? If you have not started yet, kindly do it because you learn one word, two words every day, then there's uh, on the Tuesday there are another two words, then on Wednesday there are two words, so there are six words and then there is a quiz and there's the, um, uh, let's say the word tree, so you have to learn those words. And in those words, you must be finding that there is the pronunciation of the word. And there is also a word, you, where, and the pronunciation is written in parentheses. You see, there are the words, how to pronounce a word. It's written like this, between two lines. That is the pronunciation of the word. We'll see this in the dictionary also, and then we'll see how to use a dictionary. You, many of you have received the dictionaries, and if you do not have the dictionary with you, next session, you must have a dictionary with you uh, before uh, start of the session. 
so uh, so that you can learn how to find the word properly so let's go further how is a dictionary organized let's see okay the students uh, they have a dictionary they are trying to find a word let's see further okay if we find the definition there is also ma'am the definition of the word is also there mm -hmm. what is office like what is veto power so that uh, we can see in the dictionary for, for the if we find a uh, word office so where we'll have to go we'll have to go all the way till the letter o no, but, uh, and then uh, you just we find it. Uh, how this how these words they are set in i mean they just put the words here and there uh, or there is some order Maybe. there is an order ma'am what is that uh, the order it is done in the alphabetical order okay okay so like let's see if uh, you are sukhwant and i am anurag if our names are to be found in the dictionary whose name will be there first it will Obviously be anurag yes. alphabetically exactly. it will be anurag yeah. and if it is anurag and anuradha there yeah. you are held up because first we have a both are common then, then n, n is again common you again is common, is common. so n it is anurag anuradha hmm. so anurag will come first t will come later hmm. so let's see this will be if you find it in the first word then if the first word is same then the second word you look up and if the second word is again same second then letter, letter, second uh, letter. yes second letter then you look at the third yeah, letter okay. similarly you go ahead so this so is to make dictionary is easier will come first and then anurag will come haanji. b and then b followed by g <coughs> okay so to make dictionary is easier to use the words are organized in an alphabetical order since there are so many words in a dictionary guide words are used to help you locate a word uh, quickly what's a guide word guide word ma'am uh, on a page there will be two words okay so the top word top left word will be the first word in the on that page and the next last page the second word on the right will be the last word on that page let's see this like there's the word if you can see it the first word found at the top of each page is the first and on the right side is the last word of that page so these are guide words like we have the first word here this is the same word as this one and mm. this word you find here it's the last one mm. so uh, these are the guide words so all the words fall here all so the words that fall becomes much you. easier to locate a word you know Haan this ji. way because then otherwise you will be looking at each yeah. and every word like this you yeah, will be going true. through all the words here yeah. but now if we have to look we have to we simply can just the first simply word first and, and the last word, word then okay. we can go to the next page that's right how do guide words help you find a word quickly hmm. like look at the guide words use what you know about alphabetizing means a b c how you find it mm -hmm. And decide if your word falls between the two, two guide guys. words in the first and the yeah. last. So one page is over, then you can look at the next page or even turn a few pages. Mm -hmm. Let's see what that means. Let's pretend we are looking up for the word science. First, we would turn to the S section. Perfect. Then we would use the guide words and what we know about alphabetizing, uh, alphabetizing to decide the correct page in the S section. We would look at the guide words at the top of each page and decide which ones our word would come between in alphabetical order. Mm -hmm. So, which one of these pages would contain the word science? It will be, where will it be? Let's see, where can you find science? Will the word be between stamp and summer or sandwich and 70? Uh, it would be, I think, between uh, the sandwich and 70 because you see the second letter A and this side 70, second letter is E. Uh -huh. so, so the second, letter, second letter C, there is C. Will so come it will fall in between in these two, yes. nearest it one. It will fall one. here. Hmm. It will fall somewhere here, here if right. you find those words. Hmm. Okay. Today we are going to learn what each part of a definition means. There comes the head word, the word you are looking up. It is always in bold type. Entry is the information on the word you are looking up. Pronunciation. It tells you how to say the word that is found in parentheses. This is 
the word pronunciation is given here. Mm. So it will always be between these two lines. Then what is the part of speech? Tells you how the word is used in a sentence. Is it a noun, verb, adjective, adverb? And these are the uh, abbreviations given in the dictionary for adjective, adverb, noun, and verb. Mm. So these are also, th you'll find the, uh, these also. Abbreviation for the word adjective. Definition, all possible meanings for word are given. Because ma'am, we know mm. there is more than uh, uh, one, one meaning for, so, uh, for a word. Particular word right. The word will have the same spellings, but it will be used differently mm. in a different context. Right. Like we can say, uh, let's see, if we can say ma'am, uh, I brush my teeth every morning. Mm -hmm. So we can use the word brush. Right. I can say I brush my hair in the morning till the hair shine. I can use the word brush also here mm. for my hair. Right. But I cannot use the word, co I comb my hair every morning, but I cannot comb my teeth. Yeah. So the words are different in the different context. So wherever you use that word, so if we have a different definition, so you have to find what in it what means it and what context it is going using. to be used. That's perfect. Right. Examples <laughs> are, uh, shows you how the word is used in a sentence usually found in italics. Now, what is italics, students? Uh, italics, uh, uh italics is the word is written like this. It is already written in italics. italics yeah. It's in a running hand. Yes. Itymology tells you the history of the Literally. word or what the language it came from. Like mm. the word is from Latin every day for the word of the day. We tell yes, the students it that it is a Latin, Latin origin word. or it is Greek or uh, French. Or yes. yes. So this is etymology. What is the history of that word? Mm -hmm. That also is there in the dictionary. Right. So let's see the word flag. Flag. So every student knows it. What a flag is. Right. It's our, uh, it is a piece of cloth with a pattern or a symbol of a country organization. organization. And we have a flag for the house. Houses also. Yes. For the houses also. And see they see it every day. Mm. So this is when you use it as a noun, it is flag. So let's see when, how it is used as a verb. To flag is to stop or to give a signal. We flagged down the police officer. If a police officer no hath dita, ono asi ishara kar ke asi rokya, to that is also flagged down. Even when some marathon race is there or some Haanji. car race is there, Haanji. so it is always flagged off by some uh, dignitary, by dignitary or some, by some Where, VIP. Yes, that, that's right. Hmm. So that is there also, there you can say it is flag because we have a flag in a hand and then we, then they give the go ahead. That's right. But even without a flag, if we can stop, stop. somebody and uh, that is also flagged out. It's just, uh, uh, you know, giving a, a sign to Hanji. stop. Yes. So the word flag, the word being defined is followed by the pronunciation in parentheses. parentheses yes. Then first, how the word is used as a part of speech. First, it is used as a noun, noun. then as a word. word. A noun, again, we can see that it is given as a noun, a piece of cloth with a pattern or a symbol. Then verb is to stop or to signal. Mm -hmm. Finally, you might see a sentence showing how the word is used, especially if the use is not the most common for the word. Mm -hmm. So this is the even how the usage is given, how the word is used mm -hmm. in a sentence. sentence. So how do I decide which definition to use? Words aage ode vich ma'am. Right. Words jado aage, ek aagaya, do aagaya, there are a few, six or seven, there could be six or mm. seven meanings for that word. Mm. So how to decide which is your, which is your requirement? Mm. So there we have to decide how the word is used. We have to read all the meanings of the words given to you. Imagine a blank space in the sentence where the word appears. Substitute the meaning you feel is correct into that sentence. If the sentence still makes sense, hmm. then you have the correct definition. Upper word lelia. Right. Like we use the word comb and hmm. brush. Right. So we cannot comb the teeth. Hmm. So this definition does not su suit here. So the brush word suits here. We brush the teeth. So, apni definition dekho, jithe tho no word ho pya hai, o dekho ki jede meanings tu si dekh rahe ho, o koi sense ban rahi ho na meanings di. Je sense ban rahi hai, that is your right definition. So, next is, 
how we know how to use the dictionary but dictionary has many more things than this we have quite a few things in the dictionary then there are bilingual dictionaries so bilingual what is a bilingual bilingual means ma'am in two languages okay. there could be a dictionary it would be giving the meaning in english and punjabi or hindi or hindi okay or there could be a hindi dictionary giving meanings in punjabi and english right. that is bilingual is two languages mm. so bilingual dictionary is an essential tool for second language learners but using them correctly requires more than just looking up a word in one language and picking up the first translation ohi gal hogi pehli hi apa translation nahi use karni we have to nahi samajh aanda to we can ask somebody also so we odda hi apa ne onu fit karke dekhna ki oda meaning ban raha hai ki nahi ban raha dictionaries do not list every single word they list the word as a noun adjective and a verb the rest you have to make but then there are you want to look that up means uh, madam it is it's a storehouse of words yes matlab woh noun bhi nouns bhi aage bahut sare word adjectives bhi aage ma'am noun adjective words and aage, verbs uh, is sare, these is are the content words yes if we add something to these there are more words more, more, words, more yes. words come up right then we have an uh, we also are given suffixes which are added to the word and a new words is made new words, new then words we have a uh, prefix prefixes yes. and usually the prefixes uh, used in um, most of the words they become uh, negative of that same word hmm. or the antonym Ent- of that same word like let's say happy hmm. and you add hmm. un Un-happy. it's unhappy right that's right so uh, or common and uncommon so there are many many words and also there are words which may have two or three meanings and it will come in the dictionary at the later stage also and it will give meaning of the previous word right and that word will be mentioned on page so and so it is that word also mm-hmm. look for the first word in the expression look for the most important word in the expression that's right if you you have to find out more things be aware of the symbols symbols also mean something what they is, can what give what are the symbols the, these can uh, those symbols like uh, let's say the phonetic symbol okay like uh, what is this ma'am uh, there are more word th- there are less words and more sounds mm, that's right in the language so this is sh mm-hmm. and if we have we have a symbol for this also it is like this this is a symbol, symbol. phonetic symbol this is a phonetic symbol yeah. and then there is this word the mm. and this phonetic symbol for this is this is the but then the if we say th only th then it's th it can be th yeah. and this is the phonetic symbol for th okay. theta. theta so this is th so everywhere whatever okay let's say this word c i r c u s Mm-hmm. circus that's right but this c is pronounced as this symbol and this is pronounced as this symbol right this again is this so in a dictionary even without the teacher you can know what the how this c is going to be pronounced, pronounced. as sir and how this c is going to be pronounced as sir sure. so this is also a symbol mm. and these are phonetic symbols which we we'll, we already we read in our uh, 12th and 11th books there mm-hmm. are phonetic symbols are given at the end of the in the glossary yes. so those symbols also can be found in the dictionary and you can know the pronunciation of the word from the dictionary mm-hmm. is there more than one context word could be used in find the right context what is diving or sport for diving suit now if we have to find a word diving suit mm-hmm. so we can have a look at the diving which is a sport yes that's and right. then suit, suit what you wear for uh, uh, particular such sport part- yes. particular sport so and then marriage or formal dress mm. for wedding suit mm. are you looking for the most important word so if there are two words you can look at both those words and combinedly get the answer for that that's right diving suit the main word noun here is suit, suit. 
try to find the diving context into the suit, suit entry. entry if this is not successful go to the other word pehla diving dekho je diving nahi labhya ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਸੂਟ ਆਪਣਾ ਸੂਟ ਦੇਖੋ ਸੂਟਸ ਵਾਲੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਹਦੇ ਚ ਨਿਕਲਿਆ ਹੋਗਾ ਅਦਰਵਾਈਜ਼ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਕੰਬਾਈਨ ਬੋਥ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਗੈਟ ਟੂ ਦ ਆਨਸਰ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਬਾਇਲਿੰਗੁਅਲ ਡਿਕਸ਼ਨਰੀ ਬਾਇਲਿੰਗੁਅਲ ਮੀਨਸ ਇਹਦੇ ਚ ਇਹਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਟੂ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਨਾਓ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਟੂ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਸੋ ਐਂਡ ਅਗੇਨ ਯੂ ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਹੀਅਰ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਰਿਟਨ ਏ ਡੀ ਜੇ means adjective. it is used as an adjective. adjective here it is n means it is a noun. noun then again this is n this is a noun mm. so you get to know what is a noun how the word is used how it will be used in a sentence and what is the what part of speech it is mm. here again we have some more words then there is a uh, thesaurus eh ki thesaurus kind of thesaurus hunde ji it is also a kind of a dictionary where you get to know uh, you, uh, the words will be there in alphabetical order okay it could be like it could be scientific words that's right it could be and those could be in, in alphabetical order okay. or there could be words like there will be ah, a word ah, happy you mean ke is subject related hunde ne matlab jive science de honge sare science de hi milenge ha ji je o science de ne the medicine de milenge medical na related honge o science di ho sakdi hai ma'am separate dictionary je thesaurus ho sakda hai but there can be word meanings wala bhi ho sakda hai where you are given upar thode sare us word de related words hor ho sakde oda keda meaning hai ode same meaning wale words honge then there will be a line and there will be antonyms for those words only okay so those are used for higher level this thing if you are writing if you are writing yes. essays if okay. you are writing poetry where you need to substitute words jede lekhak likhari ne wo is da bahut istemal karde ne bahut zyada istemal karde ki unna nu tarah tarah de words lagane pende ne apni even in poetry apna nu apna use karde ha hun je assi apna ik word le liye happy le liye ta oda apna happy de kinne words apna nu aa sakde ha happy cheerful elated the or delighted oh jehde words hege ah oh de vich as a ik word de naal naal oh jehda hega you can find happy in h but you will find delighted in d but oh de naal similar words othe fit honge and then there will be antonyms below those these can be used for writing papers creating speeches learning the meaning of a word more meaning similar words right so then writing poetry or writing your uh, increasing your writing, writing quality poetry. or you fill a crossword puzzle yes there you know get to know more and more words hmm. like pull is haul and similar kind of words are there how do i use a thesaurus we'll learn about it later but let's see some more things what we can have find in a dictionary other than the root word you can even find the here you are given these are the uh, phonetic, phonetic symbols, symbols right yes there are vowels and diphthongs then there are consonants and what word is used how mm. for the sound, sound right. so those are also given you the symbols are given and even for the symbols there is a separate page what the symbols are then okay. you can find the symbols in the dictionary right then there is a table of contents where you can find quite a few things here ma'am uh, in the dictionary what all can we find so we can uh, have irregular verbs there could be punctuation numerical expressions weights and measures geographical names of things but these are the different categories where under which these words fall you know no there uh. there can be a separate separate unit for this all oh uh, yes uh, like uh, unit of temp uh, measurement units ki hai ja je ek foot hove ta o kinne meters hai ja haan those also okay and then these are the abbreviations Hmm. you can find here a b b r is abbreviation a d j what Edition. words or abbreviations are used in the generally and also in the dictionary, dictionary. how okay. it is how it comes there okay so then we can find these are the uh, verbs irregular verbs yes if what are irregular verbs students they do know about it like uh, eat ate eaten these are three different words hmm. these are irregular they are hmm. not those same Hmm. same ones then we have numerical expressions in it these are all dictionary pages this is how uh, the punctuation is there hmm. how how to use the punctuations in the bigger dictionaries we have these these are weights and measures okay 
यू कैन सी ऑल दोज मेट्रिक सिस्टम एंड ऑल हाँ जी एवरी थिंग सो यू फाइंड क्वाइट अ फ्यू थिंग्स इन द डिक्शनरी दीज आर केमिकल एलिमेंट्स so what is the family relationship this is these are photos from the dictionary i have with me uh, so this is a big dictionary oh, but the children uh, they learn i mean different relationship you know yes how they from both the them. sides yes the, the, these are there these are si units mm. and then even the the symbols are given for those so this is uh, how the dictionary went the uh, ma'am next next time we'll tell them how to use the thesaurus yeah and by That's that time very should, interesting by that by that time they should have the dictionary with them for the next session yes. if they will be having the dictionary with them we will ask them and give them homework to give uh, to find the new words Definitely. the teachers uh, i request you all to give a few words to the students in the given time hmm. make it a game let's say give them 5 minutes and 10 words whosoever brings it first hmm. can be given a little appreciate appreciation, appreciation or uh, uh, so Some that they know applause. how to find the words from the dictionary hmm. and uh, they should also be given homework to find the meanings and uh, how they use in sentences uh, we've already been doing uh, two words uh, for the word of the day mm -hmm. and um, they are the root word root and what everything is everything is there the but how they can find these words in the dictionary should be given uh, more importance now the, because if the students use the dictionary on their own mm -hmm. only then they are able to do the reading task to attempt the reading comprehension uh, also they can you know have the word hunt word hunt means i mean in the class only they can have this activity where a time is fixed and some words isolated words are given and uh, it should be uh, with some uh, ra uh, sort of racing you know racing and this is this is what i was saying yes, yes. the the whoever comes first maybe he can have a good round of applause and then some small gift can be you know give, hmm. given to that child to motivate others also to you know jump into this band like uh, last time ma'am uh, we had uh, uh, students uh, you all know that now this uh, this year we the session will be a full session there will be uh, no uh, deleted syllabus in this uh, it will be a full syllabus and they ha they'll have to appear for the 80 marks paper mm -hmm. and they already have two comprehension passages one will be 6 marks the other will be 10 marks so to attempt that comprehension reading comprehension yes. passages they have to know the meanings and the synonyms and the antonyms of those words which are used in the paragraph because the questions asked can be for the uh, synonyms or antonyms also it's not necessary that the same word will be asked as a question in the question paper mm. so they to know that to know the meanings of that to be able to attempt the comprehension well and get 16 out of 16 in mm. those passages it is important that the students know how to uh, use the dictionary right. that is the reason why uh, dictionaries are uh, suggested for the students and also given to the students to use in classrooms students you all have dictionaries in your libraries uh, please go and have a look at those dictionaries now after the class in the uh, break you can ask your librarians to uh, ha have a look at those dictionaries so that immediately you first thing you have to do is go and find the guide word that's true what is a guide word and what word falls under that guide word and they'll be able to Uh, so the um, most of the students will say oh ma'am we don't need a dictionary yes but they'll say this uh, we'll just go and google it hmm. but we do not have the phone with us all the time so, so we need to have some uh, we need some to have knowledge a dictionary in our brains with also us. yes we need to have a dictionary with us at home where you can um, uh, look at it at leisure hmm. and you can also find the words and uh, most of the students do not have uh, uh, phones at home and you do not have a phone in classroom there it's not allowed so in classroom you must have a dictionary in school it's all right if your teacher gives you the words they uh, give you the meaning but if you want to be independent and learn for yourself then this is very important so you can have a look at the dictionaries in your school you'll find photos also in the dictionaries there are 
for small children so for they have pictionaries also there could be maps yes, also ma'am there could be maps also in the that's dictionary right, yes. so there is a map here yes there's a so if you'll just go and have a look at what all it is there in the dictionary only then you will be able to uh, the, uh, here we can just give you what it is but you will have to find it out for yourself in the dictionaries in your libraries so uh, let's say uh, you you'll have a look at the pronunciation the phonetic symbols and you uh, now uh, by now you know how we have to uh, use the dictionary and where and how to find a word let's see it was a now uh, okay here is a word so if you find these words from the dictionary let's say we find the word backbite we find the word backbite that's true so you have to go and find that word backbite in your dictionary in your class uh, school uh, school library go and visit that and we hope to see you next session with your dictionaries in the uh, edusec classroom so that we are able to uh, have a look at it in a better way and i thank um, sukhwant ma'am for being here with us and thank you so much and all the best have a look at the dictionary and learn more and score more thank you